Hi, so this is second tutorial and today we will see how to create window in SFML. Okay, so there are basically two ways to create window in SFML. First one is uh, by using window class. So, and the second one is by using render window class. Okay, so the main difference is there is that that when you create a window using your window class, you cannot draw anything on that window. Okay, so it is just for the representation of static things. So if you want to show some picture and you want to, you, you do not want to draw anything at runtime, then it is good that you use window class of SFML library. Okay. And if you want to do something in real time, in runtime of your program, then you, you should use render window class. So let's see how to use them. Okay. So I'm using namespace SF then i'm using window window class and i'm creating an object okay window so this window class accepts four arguments here okay so the first one will be a video mode and again this is a class of sfml library uh, what it does it it just uh, gives us some functions very interesting functions like uh, it helps us to grab the resolution of your desktop and uh, other some i mean it helps in deciding the size of the window okay so here uh, i'm passing some default arguments here like 500 cross 500 so it will be the size of our uh, window next argument is just name of the window so we'll take it window itself third and fourth argument is optional so if you want to uh, you know to give some style to your window like uh, like if you want to tell window that you do not want to use close button or you do not want to have close button in your in your title bar so such kind of options like styling of your title bar and um, and the position of the window that can be set by using third argument the fourth argument you can use um, if you are using OpenGL and you want to create some menu bar or some other additional buttons in the window okay so let's run this and let's see what will happen okay so when I run this um, wait so whenever I run this you look that we are getting this window here but it is not moving we cannot grab it this is happening because this window is not taking any event from it okay so in order to add some event we need to write some other code so it will be like while window is open is open so it returns one whenever the window is open okay we need to define some event we'll talk about events later in our videos okay e while so window dot pull poll poll event so we are getting event from the window and we are storing that event in our e that is so we are uh, taking event from the window and uh, we are storing that event in our uh, event class object e okay now we'll check what kind of event is this so there are a lot of events like keyboard key event or right click event so scroll event even mouse move event cursor move event so we'll check what kind of event is this so we'll check whether this event is 
the event that is raised when we click on the cross button of the window so if it is the event of close type then we'll close the window okay so let's check so if e is equals to e dot type e dot type type is equals to sf event closed then do what close the window window dot close okay and close this also let's run it again So now you can see I can move this because right now it is accepting events from the window and it is waiting I mean it is checking for the events whatever I am doing here whenever I move my cursor here every time an event is getting raised and it will be compared to our closed event and if it is not the closed event window will continue and if I click this button the close event will go and the window will get closed so here I press that and window closed so this is so uh, similarly uh, we can use render window class here render window class also so this is nothing but this is the class that that facilitates you to draw something in in the window okay so it inherits all the function of our window class so whatever the function that are available in window class are also applicable in this class okay so let's run it and you can see that the same thing is happening okay same thing is happening so that's it this was just a basic tutorial thank you for watching and if you like this video just press like button and subscribe to our channel and comment if you have some problems okay bye